Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to unbox my new NVIDIA RTX 4090 graphics card. So we're just going to unbox it. I'm going to talk about why I bought this card and what am I actually going to use it for. So basically, we're just going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at it. It's actually like a really large uh, GPU. But we also get some really nice performance that can be used for a lot of different kind of things. It is also in uh, the high end price. But basically the reason why I bought this 4090 RTX card is for multiple reasons. So it's both for productivity, it's for deep learning AI, computer vision. So I have like all those different kind of things uh, which we're actually like using a GPU for. So I have like OpenCV with GPU support so we can speed up our applications in OpenCV by utilizing the GPU. So it will make our uh, and on my applications and projects faster in computer vision. Also my productivity, I can render my videos that I'm editing all those different kind of things. I can utilize the, the GPU. We're creating these instant NERF. So we're using NERF, uh, training it with our NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to use it for training neural networks. So I don't have to do it like in Google Colab. I don't have to like upload my data sets uh, to the drive or like somewhere else. I can just run it on my own computer. I can leave it for the whole night. I can just train like neural networks while I go to sleep. I'll just later run on my own local machine because in Google Colab, sometimes the, the session acts like just, it just terminates if you're not at the computer for some time. Uh, it is really annoying and you have to like start your training over again or like full from like some time point again i get really good performance with the 4090 i can train all new neural networks on on my local computer it just goes way faster with acts like loading the data um, and so on and then i have everything on my own computer so i'm going to use it both for like productivity um for acts like training neural networks speed up my applications with uh, computer vision computer computer vision applications wherever you utilize the gpu i also started some tutorials and videos with kupai where we can utilize the gpu for a uh, numpy operations so it can be used for a lot of different kind of things and another aspect is also for uh, for gaming so this specific card here it can be used for a lot of different kind of things it is kind of like a uh, a really specific hardware accelerator, but it's also general purpose for like productivity, computer vision, deep learning, gaming, and all those different kind of things. And when we're combining all those things into one, this card here is actually like the best out there for all those things. Even though it's in the high end, it is just worth it for me to actually like get this performance when I'm creating my computer vision, deep learning applications, and so on. And also when I'm making content for you guys. This car is real worth it for me. We're going to see some really nice results with it. I'm excited to, to get started with it. I'm excited to actually like show it in the videos, show it performance because this GPU is the best yet by NVIDIA for all these different things that I have mentioned throughout the video. Crazy results, like crazy that they're able to make these GPUs. But again, it is also really large as you can see. Uh, it only just like fits in my computer, like the temperatures are fine. Um, I've tested it a lot and we get some really nice performance. I've both already trained some neural networks on it. I have made some computer vision applications. I've basically just used the ones that we already have from my OpenCV GPU cores. Crazy results like this card here is really worth it for me. Sometimes like people just say like this is just a really expensive card. Uh, it is not real worth it. You can't use it for anything like a, a 30, 90, 40, 40, uh, like 40 uh like 30 60 or something like that is is more than fine you just get way more performance and one of the other aspect is also that you get 24 uh, gigabytes of uh, vram on your gpu so you can also load in like larger batches so when you're actually like training neural network you you would actually like have like a larger batch size when you're training it on image data sets and so on you might actually like want like 32 64 like on smaller data sets uh, of your batch size so your models would actually like generalize better because we're doing these updates here, updates for our neural networks for each batch. So again, you can increase the batch size if you have like more RAM compared to if you only have like eight or like eight, 12 gigabytes of RAM on your GPU, then you probably won't be able to train like really good AI models on your own local machine. So that is also one of the reasons I chose this 4090 graphics card. It's just really rare for me because I can use it for so many different kind of things and I just get the best performance out there for both productivity, gaming, and also for my computer vision and deep learning projects and applications and also for creating content for you guys. So I'm just really excited to get started with it, uh, use it, get way more efficient and get way, way better performance in the future. So thank you guys for watching this video here. Exciting future ahead with this new 4090 RTX card. 
crazy performance so remember to subscribe button and pull notification under the video also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future if you're interested in one of the uh, one of the tutorials i'm doing one of the playlists i have about computer vision or deep learning if you want to learn how you can actually like create these applications yourself i'll link to one of the tutorials up here or else on the scene next video guys bye for now